So our first one again is Jenna Rodriguez. She is obtaining her DP right now with Global Crux Technical College. She's definitely a positive, self-driven, and determined woman. She was born in the beautiful country of Panama. She's been here for about 13 years is what she was explaining to us. She's overcome many, many challenges in her life. She entered the U.S. to basically get a better life. And um, Panama is a very small country. It's about the size in comparison to the United States. And it's a whole country in itself. Uh, that there is a Panama flight. Um, according to the CIA World Factbook, Panama has a population right now of 3 million, 3, 3 million 460,462. Um, the main language is Spanish, so if you ever want to go visit, make sure that you brush up on your Spanish, although 75% of the population does speak English as well. You also want to avoid <coughs> visiting during um, hurricane season, says Justin Dodge in the Book of Panama, um, to avoid between June and November is basically their hurricane season, so you don't want to go visit them during that time. They are surrounded by two full bodies of water, so they've got a small area that's it's connected to Costa Rica and a small area that's connected to Colombia, but majority of their border is all surrounded by water. Um, according to the book Panama Canal, Spooner Act was finalized in Panama, which revolted from the Colombian in 1903. So basically, they gained their 